Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for all the love and support you show my channel. Today, I have a medium-sized Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. It's so hot here, y'all. You could go out there and cut that heat with a knife, okay? It's just beyond hot, okay? I don't know what's going on, but anywho, we're going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul so I don't keep you guys too long, okay? Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Okay, my sweets, I have like mostly repurchases and a few new items that I found, but I haven't been on the road um, since the last time I went to Virginia. It's just so hot out there. I don't feel like doing anything, but anywho, I digress. Let's jump right into this haul. I finally found two of my, two more boxes of my tall kitchen garbage bags by Essentials. These are the flex ones. These are the only kitchen garbage bags I buy from the Dollar Tree when I can find them. My large Dollar Tree was out and I'm not even sure where I got these from. I'm not sure which store. I think it was down in Virginia, I believe, because y'all know my hauls, they sit here for days before I catch up because I'm just so far behind. But I did get two of those. You get nine bags. These last me a long time, but when I got down to the last box, I started panicking and I was like, okay, time to, you know, get some more. And they, you got to be careful when you buy these because they have, I think, three different ones. Ones with the flaps, which are really, really thin. My fingernails go right through them. And the drawstring ones like this, but they're not the flex ones, okay? So those are, to me, personally, not good at all. So, yeah, I don't like those. But the next item I found was some more of my Mandarin. I guess I'll just grab and show. Some more of my Libby's Premium Mandarin Oranges in Light Syrup. These are... Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. They are best used by November 28th, 2025, and they are a 15-ounce can, and I love, love, love these. I used the rest. I used up my other ones making my, um, my fruit top cheesecake, so everybody wants some, so I got to make another or two of those cheesecakes. So, <laughs> you know how that happens, right? It's summertime. It's fresh fruit. It was delicious, you guys. I mean, absolutely delicious. I found this next item. I'm not, I don't believe I found this one yet. I don't know. I buy so many of them, I'm not quite sure. But this is called the Old Fashioned Smoked Sausage. It is called a Cattleman's Cut. And it is um, Best Buy... Uh, February 20, Fe February 21st, 2024. It looks like this. Y'all know how I tell you all the time I like these little snacks, you know, at night before I go to bed. For some reason, I just need something to nosh on. That's what it says. I'm not familiar with this. I could have purchased this before, but I don't remember it looking like this. So it's just called CC Cattleman's Cut. And, um, yeah pork, water, salt, soy, grits, yeah, the usual stuff, but I thought I would try one. It looked pretty good, so it's pretty big for $1.25, so I grabbed that, and um, I saw they had, in my local Dollar Tree, they had the Snyder's of Hanover's pretzel pieces. They had cheddar cheese, and they had jalapeno in the green bag. Um, no. No. I'm not doing the jalapeno, but it says big flavor. It says cheddar cheese flavored sourdough hard pretzels. It's a five ounce bag. It's um, Best Buy October 28th, 2023. So that's right around the corner, but they'll be gone before then. They look like this little pretzel pieces, but this is in the cheddar cheese flavor. So it says big flavor, <laughs> big flavor right there. So I said I'll give them a try. I'm not a big, big pretzel person, but I do like them. So this is America's Pretzel Bakery since 1909. So we'll try them. I said I uh, wish I could eat that hot food, but I can't. I can, but I shouldn't. Okay. 
enough of that. <laughs> I This was definitely in on the road in Virginia where they restocked or they still had the Columbina um, Club Crackers. And my sister loves these. I told you guys before, these are a repurchase. My sister loves these crackers. I probably should have picked her up two packs, but I saw them and I just grabbed one. And their Best Buy is February 20th, 2024. And you know you get the six um, on-the-go packets. And she loves these. So those will definitely be for her. Okay. Okay, my sweets. I didn't really need this, but it looked new to me. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab it. This is the Pantry Basic Original Recipe Hot Sauce with Cayenne Peppers. It says a kick of heat and a bold flavor, and it's a 10 fluid ounce bottle. And the expiration date on this is somewhere around here. Hmm. I uh, hope it's not in the bottle because I won't be able to see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is in the bottle in yellow. It is Best Buy 12 3rd 24. So it looks like this came out like this. So it's new. I've never seen this. It's by Pantry Basics. I think that's what it said. Yeah. Pantry Basics. And it's just another thing of hot sauce. And I'm like, it will not go to waste. I will definitely be using this. Y'all know I'm a Red Hot, a Frank's Red Hot fan. But for $1.25, I will try this. So I got that. Let me sit that over there. When I did go down to Virginia, I found some more of the Starbucks Ice Espresso Vanilla Lattes flavored with other natural flavors, smooth and creamy. This is a 14 fluid ounce. This is a repurchase. And I did pick up four more of these for my sister. Hers is on the counter. I just wanted to show you the one because it's a repurchase I showed you before. I think they have other flavors floating around out there as well, but I haven't seen any but these. And when I went to Virginia, they had all of these in the refrigerator, not the freezer, not on the shelf. So if you look for them, look for them in the refrigerator. So I got that. Oh, what's their expiration date? August 15th. Ooh, 2023. They'll be good past that. Okay. So it says August 15th. And everybody has been talking about this drink and talking about this drink. And I've passed it passed it over so many times simply because it's an energy drink sorry about the bangs they got wet they weren't dry when I took them out so I took um, my hair down too quick but anyway this is the witch's brew this is a Lani witch's brew energy drink naturally plus natural flavor and I passed this by so many times because it has 200 milligrams of caffeine but everybody says it's it, it tastes just like a caramel apple and y'all know I drink my Victor Allen one. So I was like, hey, Sadie, you know, you can drink this in the middle of the day or earlier in the day when you're lagging and, you know, feeling loopy, <laughs> which is pretty much all the time. But don't drink it before, right before you go to bed. So I got one because I'm curious. I want to try it. I mean, the I think the 200 milligrams of caffeine scared me. And that's why I kept passing it by. And it is a bigger can. It is 12 fluid ounce can of Witch's Brew. <laughs> so Alani's Witch's Brew. I hope you guys can see that. So I did get one of those just to try it, just to try it. And another repurchase just to keep in my pantry in case I run um, short on my creamer from Aldi's was this... Um, Ooh, do, 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 do. I'm sorry with the ums. Splenda Sweet Cream Coffee Creamer. This is um, only 15 calories. It's good till February 9th of 2024. And I just said, you know what? I like sweet cream. When I go to Aldi's, I have to pick between the sweet cream or the caramel macchiato. If they had this in caramel, I would have gotten the caramel because I am a caramel caramel girl but I did pick this up just to put it in my pantry just in case and then I have more of these drinks I know these are really really loaded with sugar but honey let me tell you something <laughs> I love these freaking coffees okay especially right now with it being so hot out here 
I just fill my little pitcher up with ice and I just enjoy these little, little tiny eight ounce cans of Victor Allen's Snickers iced coffee and the Twix ones. I love them all, but I'm in love with these Snickers, but the caramel are still my favorite y'all. But Ooh, when you see these, you got to grab them because they go so fast in every store I've been in. They, they just fly out and this is Best Buy um july 24th of 2024 so yeah you got time to indulge and you know enjoy your little refreshing iced coffee in this crazy heat and then of course i got a few more of the twix as well and the twix is october 2nd 2024 i just wish they hadn't made them in the 11 ounce it, i really would feel like they gypped us but it's dollar twenty-five. I'm gonna breathe, okay? So I did get the Twix. I got two more of the Twix, but I think I drank one of these already because I can't find it. So I must have. Okay, coming up, a few more items. Okay, my sweet, some non-food items that I found. I think I found this down in Virginia as well. These are the um, assorted paper plates. No, it's not assorted paper plates, microwave safe. These are the nine inch sizes that I like and they're 40. And I believe I bought these before, but they changed the packaging on me. I don't really know, but y'all know I keep, um, upping up on my paper plates and my paper bowls, which I forgot. Um, that'll just give me an excuse to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. Cause you know, I love the bowls too, but these have 40 in them, okay? You might probably have to double, you know, double them up. So I would say 20, okay? <laughs> but for $1.25, even 20 is a good buy to me, you know? And you don't have to wash any dishes. Yeah, yay for me, okay? And another repurchase, you've guys seen me buy these before. These are the No Field Protection Thin um, 20 liners, liners by Always. I love these little things. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I like the newer ones that came out too that have the smell to them. But for some reason, I just gravitate to these. So when I see them and I know I'm getting low, I just grab another pack. And they're a name brand item for $1.25 and you get 20 of them. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll take them. Okay, and another new item to me. I've never seen this in my Dollar Trees before. I believe I found this in my local Dollar Tree. And this is called Lucky Super Soft Tea Tree Oil Foot Spray. Enriched with natural essential oils and plant extracts. Refreshes and deodorizes. It's a four fluid ounce. And on the bottom it just says revives, cools, comforts. Revives cool comfort. I'm probably just going to pass this over to my brother. See if he wants to try it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. It says no sulfates, no parabens, no artificial colors, vegan formula, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. It says to use, spray liberally all over bare feet, including between the toes. Use every day to control foot odor. For best results, use twice daily. Well, I don't have foot odor. Not that I know. I haven't smelt my own feet in years. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but anywho, I don't know if my brother might use something like this, but I couldn't help myself when I saw it. I had to get it. Y'all know. Oh, yeah. It smells um kind of like mint, minty. So it says tea tree oil. Okay, and y'all know tea tree oil is really good. But yeah, it smells to me like a very, very nice minty um, smell. My brother might really like something like this. I don't know if he has stinky feet or not. I, don't, I haven't smelled my brother's feet either. Okay, but I saw this. It was new to me in my Dollar Tree, so I grabbed it. And again, I said it was a four fluid ounce. Lucky, super soft. Okay, yeah, we'll move on. And I know these came from Virginia because, yeah, the, some, really the only good things I really found down there was these DC Batman Hot Wheels. And this one is Batman, the animated series, three plus. This is five of five. And I'm not really into the DC ones. Y'all know I'm a Marvel. True bone, okay? But because it was purple, I grabbed it, okay? I just thought it was too cute. 
is the Batman DC collection. All right. And it looks like this. And I just thought, oh my Lord, I must have her. I'm not a Batman fan. It just says Batman, the animated series. And again, it's five of five. So I grabbed that one just to put in my collection. I'm running out of room with everything, but them cars. But this one I wanted for me, okay? This is a part of the, um, what is it? Disney Pixar Light. Um, oh, God, I can't think of the name, y'all. Tell me what the name of it is. Um, Buzz Lightyear. This is, yeah, this is part of the um, Dixie Pixar Lightner. And this is Izzy Harthon. And I really, really wanted this one. I saw all four of them. I'm um, really five. Because I think they had two of the the guy, the cowboy. And then they had Izzy and the bus. So I think there was a collection of five. But I wanted this one so bad. <laughs> and they had them all. But look at that. Isn't that neat? Oh my God, that is so cute. So then on the back, you can see, okay, maybe four. Here's the four. So here's Izzy. Then there's that one. And then you have the little cat, Scoop, or whatever his name is. So they did have them all. They had so many Batman, different Batmans, all from DC um, collection. But yeah, I only got that one because it was purple. All right, y'all, coming up, the last few items, and we'll be done, okay? Okay, my sweets, when I went down to Virginia at the Emporia store, when I walked in, their weekly wow was all the books like they had been having, but they had some really, really nice books, you guys. I wish I had room for them, but I don't. I wanted to get so many, but I limit myself to just two that I thought stood out and appealed to me. And this book is so, to me, so fantabulous. You know, I love the, um, the animals, the ocean. I'm a Pisces, so of course I'm going to, you know, get close to the water. This in the U.S. retails for $19.99, and in Canada it retails for $25.99. And it looks like this. It's a hardcover, <clears throat> and it's called Ice, Vanilla Ice, Ice Baby. Oh, no. <laughs> I just thought this book was so cool. I love seeing the animals. Look at the little dolphin down here. I'm like, oh, my God, this book is so cool. It just says, DK, Chilling Stories from a Disappearing World. And you open it up, and it's just blue in here like this. I want to show you some of these pictures and it's about the, how the ecosystem is causing all of our, you know, beautiful, beautiful God's creatures to deteriorate and disappear. And so the book is on, on the bleak polar ice caps, high on windswept mountains and deep below frozen seas, life clings on in our planet's harshest environments. Discover how animals, plants, and humans survive in these icy realms. Watch glaciers form. Witness icebergs, calve, and shiver with the great polar explorers in this amazing journey through the world's most beautiful but threatened ecosystem. This book is phenomenal, you guys. To me. To me, okay? So it just has a lot of pictures of the animals and where, when they came, where they came from. You know, how they started and how they disappeared. And then they get into our cave creatures. It's just such a fantastic book. This is going right on my nightstand with my other book that I have on there. And it has pictures like Frozen World. I just thought it was such an interesting... I stood there for the longest time looking through this book, you guys. And I'm like, they got the Tundra. If you can see that. So I thought that was just a wonderful, wonderful buy for a dollar twenty-five, twenty dollars in anywhere else, and twenty-six dollars in Canada. So I can't show you all the pictures that are in here. I wish I could because it really is very interesting and very, very like mesmerizing at the beautiful icebergs and all that other stuff. This is the polar prey. So this is going to be the last one I'm going to show you. 
but I just could not walk away. And I like the way they have this kind of like raised or 3D on the front. And they have a little penguin right there. They don't have it raised on, on the back, but it is raised on the front. And I just had to get it. And DK is www.dk.com. So I don't really know who DK is, but it's definitely not, not a Greenbrier product, okay? So I got that book, and I love it. And I'm taking it in the bedroom because I want to look through it while I'm laying in my bed before I fall asleep. And then the second one that I chose was, they didn't even have this up in the front. They had this in the back with the rest of the books. They had a lot of books there, okay? And this also is a DK published, it's published by DK, and it's called Super Cool Tech, Technology, Invention, and Innovation, and it looks like a little laptop. It's so cute. I don't know if you can see that. Where's the DK at? The DK is up there again, and this says, discover the mind-blowing high-tech inventions of the future. Incredible images reveal the secret inner workings of everything from drones and supercomputers to underwater hotels and flying <clears throat> flying cars. So it's super cool tech. And you open it up like your laptop. It opens up like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it has all these people inventing all these futuristic things. So they have the picture there. I'm going to go off camera and cough for a minute, you guys. Okay, thank you guys. I'm just, please excuse me. Then it has this page where it says play, number one. And then you have all these little technical things. I wanted you to see this one up here where they have the little guitar where he's playing. Look at the guitar. Look what it looks like. Then they have the drones and all these other things. I thought this was so cool. I have no idea who I'm going to give this to or whether I'm just going to keep it. But yeah, it's super cool tech stuff for the future. And it looks like a little laptop. Let me show you this futuristic wheelchair <laughs> at high speed. Look at that. That's the futuristic um, wheelchair, you guys. I'm just like, oh my God, look at that thing. It looks like a speed racer, right? So <laughs> they have all these things, how it works, um, airlanders, and then they tell you how they built it, how it works. And it looks like a little, it looks just like my little laptop. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. And in the USA, it retails for $24.99. And in Canada, it retails for $30.99. And again, it just says DK, www.dk.com. So if you guys are interested in that publishing company, you can uh, just, you know, Google it and see what it's about. But it was still in the wrapper. And I'm going to probably gift this to my baby brother because he's kind of like, you know, yeah, uh -huh, all that, yeah, high tech stuff. Okay, <laughs> last few items and then we're going to be done, guys. <laughs> okay, my sweets, besides the uh, foot spray that I found at my Dollar Tree recently, I also found what looks new to me. It says Spa Luxury Professional Hairspray Super Hold for Style and Control Volume and Body. It's a six ounce can. It's a very pretty sleek can and it doesn't, it's, I guess it doesn't have any, oh yeah, wait a minute. Expiration date is, huh, 4th, 26th, 2029. And this looked new to me. And when I just did my braids and everything, refreshed my hair and everything, I needed some hairspray, y'all. <laughs> and this is Super Hole for style and control. So it looks like this. Okay. It's Spa Luxury Professional Hairspray Super Hold for style and control. So I can use my other Dollar Tree hairspray for my crafters, crafting and stuff. And then I can use this for my hair. So I've never saw this before. I've seen variations of this before. I'm trying to see if I could get a smell. But I've never seen, I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it. I just automatically shake. Uh, not really getting much of a smell. Oh God, you can feel it in my hair. 
Yeah, it's not having much of a smell, which is fine with me. I prefer it not to have a smell because if it does and it lingers all day, it'll give me a headache. But yeah, it looked new to me, so I grabbed that. And the last item in this haul, in this haul today is something I've never seen at the Dollar Tree before, and mine anyway, okay? And this is called 7th Generation Disinfectant Spray. Kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria and viruses. It says kill, kills cold and flu viruses. It's no rinse required. It's a botanical disinfectant made from essential oils, lavender, vanilla, and thyme scent. It is a 13.9% ounce can and it's just from a company called clean well inside and it says keep out of reach of children and i've seen this i think briefly on other people's channels or hauls but when i looked i saw this out of the corner of my eye <laughs> and i backed up what's that <laughs> And I probably should have gotten two of these because, you know, we can always use disinfectant. And there is a virus going around right now where, wear your water shoes, y'all. Wear your water shoes because if you got any cuts on your feet or something, you know, there's a virus going around right now. But yeah, this is heavy, y'all. It's big, it's huge, and it's heavy. And probably I will get more tomorrow because... I'm not really sure of, let me see, am I supposed to get turn that? Let's see. I don't want it on my books. Oh, it smells like medicine. Oh, I guess it'll disinfect, right? It smells just like medicine, y'all. Y'all know how medicine smells? Yeah, but it, hey, if it'll kill them old cooties, I'm all for it. And a big, I forgot to put it in my phone to check the retail price of it. But if I, if I remember to do it, I'm going to put it in the description box to let you guys know what it retails for. But you can close it by sliding it here and you can open it by sliding it that way. So make sure you keep this out of reach of children. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Seventh generation disinfectant spray. We can always use that, right? But that is it for today, my sweets. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a blessed day. Bye, guys.